only about 20 miles an hour here. About the half time we can see, half time we can. I think it's the roads aren't real good. Well, the roads aren't so bad, but you can get no visibility. This happens to be one of the worst storms that uh, we've ever encountered. Miserable, miserable weather. We've never had anything like this before. This is the worst one I've ever been on. I've uh, been on several of them, but this one here is, it's never warmed up yet. We've never seen uh, or had a, an ice storm to this magnitude uh, in this area. Never seen nothing this bad before. Well, I was talking to Don Larson from Corn Belt last night and he's been Lyman, you know, 30, 40 years. He, this is probably the worst ice he's ever seen, so this is a bad one. Well, it's miserable out there, but, you know, that's, that's what we do. We just build power line. We've kind of went through a little bit of everything out here between, we started out raining and it turned to ice and then it turned to snow. Structure started falling down, switch out tap and section one after another and we turn around and we lose them right behind us just as fast as we get them up. So you get the ice and you get the wind and and uh, then you get the wing wing effect on the conductor and it starts galloping and starts tearing stuff down. If we can just get that ice off the line otherwise we, the wind comes up we got a possibility of losing this many poles right away again. We've got a lot of uh, wire breaks, trees through the lines, uh, broken cross arms, uh, so it's just basically just snap the poles off so they all need to be replaced. Repairing the damage, we're, really we've just band-aided the system together and uh, we're going to spend a long time repairing. It takes a huge effort on the part of our, our employees from East River here to coordinate all these crews. You know, it's, it's a huge responsibility for our foreman to keep track of those people, what they're doing, where they're at, and make sure they have their materials they need. East River notified our company and requested some help and uh, we re responded. Uh, we sent uh, a digger truck, a high reach, a dump truck and a pole trailer with uh, two pickups and a bobcat. We've got uh, NIPCO, we've got uh, SIPCO, we've got WAPA and we've got our East River crews down here and then we've got uh, OPPD too came yesterday. I got. Uh, Corn Belt Power helping us out here, and they have done just a tremendous job for us. Uh, we do have another crew uh, from OPPD that has been doing a good job. The NIPCO boys out of uh, Lamar's, Iowa, have been doing a great job for us. Uh, NIPCO's got five guys up here, uh, three linemen, an equipment operator, and a control operator, believe it or not. He came out and helped us too. We have Dairyland Power from uh, Wisconsin helping us out. Pretty good crew, nine guys, mechanic, Mechanic is unbelievably busy. These cold temperatures is pretty tough on the vehicles, equipment. Hard work, but it's well worth it. Really cold out. One thing they're having to watch for the last couple of days is is things like frostbite and hypothermia. It's it's been below zero. Wind chills last night were down there around 23, 24 below zero, and the guys were fighting it and working through it. We're putting in. Uh, 16 hours a day out in this type of weather and it's it's it takes a toll on you after a few days and you gotta you gotta get accustomed to it well one day we went for a 25 hour stretch the one day but otherwise it's been about 14 15 hours there are some crews they work 23 hours to get this uh one town up north of mitchell on because they was low of water on their water tower and they was concerned about fires you know we can't uh uh, thank the crews from all the power companies enough for what they do. Uh, they work out in uh, tremendous elements, uh, the, the weather is terrible, uh, and they work in a very dangerous job also, and we can't give them enough thanks for what they do. Everybody's been treating us great. Uh, East River's been good to us, and all the local people we've seen are very nice about it. We're very glad that we're here helping. We've had uh, pheasant hunting rights uh, given to us for next year if they can get their power on, you know, or 
By God, you come to my house, I'll give you the biggest steak you've ever had. They've been, uh, the farmers around here have been very appreciative and very uh, understanding. We've had a lot of support from back in the office. They've been sending goodies out and, and plenty of material. We've seen a lot of people that usually don't work in our department out here helping out. We've had farmers all the way along from one end to the other that have come out, move snow the first night out. We, a family made room for, I think there was uh, four of us, made room for us to stay with them. Uh, we went into a restaurant at uh, Tulare and uh, they, everybody applauded when we came in. We actually had uh, lunch in a Quonset uh, two days ago. Uh, a bunch of the farm ladies around the neighbor, around that area got together and they, they fed us. Some place out there, somebody's lights will go on and they'll be much, sleep much happier tonight than they did the night before because their heat's on and everything's back to normal. I don't think my wife would let me come home until everybody has their lights back on.